I think there's a German Marine here. Okay, I don't... The AI doesn't seem like it has any interest in invading with this Marine, so I'm not too sure what he's actually doing here. It looks like these guys actually are pretty... Like, everybody's ready to attack Norway. Norway's gonna be dead the moment they enter the war, so... You know? Sucks to be them. And we're hoping we're hoping that uh, Russia does not invade. I mean, they're looking like they might. It's also a very militarized front line between France and Germany, but I guess that isn't a huge surprise. They are not friendly with each other. Wait, they killed her? They killed... So, I have nobody prepared. Okay, well, I guess we'll send you to prepare for it. So we are going to send you back home. I don't want you to die, but I mean, if you if that one the one lady died, it sucks for her. But it, I th think it does mean I can now recruit. Can I recruit in Europe again? Maybe not. Maybe we actually have to have an open slot first. Steal resources from Britain? Not a bad idea. Blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. We can capture a cipher. Actually, how do you even steal resources? Giving a spy suicide pills seems not to be a good idea. I didn't give them suicide pills. I mean, I don't think so. Uh, did I give them suicide pills? I didn't. I mean, they should be, like, not the worst. Uh, what am I actually building right now? I'm building civilian factories. Forty-four days, we should rescue our operative again. It's in progress. We done in October, but I believe the war will be beginning by that point. Did we can coordinate a strike against the British. Yeah, we're like we're like a week away from the war actually starting. Oh no, wait. What have you guys done? Please, my light tank does not want to be here. He wants to go home. He wants to go to Toronto. Please help him out. Like, can't. Canada, what the hell has happened to you? Did it say she killed herself? Okay, I did not, uh. I think I have a base chance to take the, like. The suicide. Romania has capitulated. Bulgaria. I have no idea what to think of this. Like, what? I, I don't... Like, what is this? Can somebody explain the Belgrade War to me? I don't... This, this is too much. Okay, so, like, tomorrow the war is going to be happening. Support all the American factions. Unfortunately, I think you can only support one. Like, I think we can support Canada, the Pacific States, and the American Union State, because they're not at war with each other. But I can't support the CSA and the Pacific States, for example, because they would be at war. Did my tank get away? Okay, he did. Fantastic news. So, do we have Naval Superiority here? Okay, Alsace Ultimatum has begun. Which is scary, of course. Okay, you guys are at war. Which means I immediately want to join the war. Because the moment England joins the war, our troops should, yeah, send off. The reason this works is because the British AI has not sent out their fleet. So I immediately begin with 100% naval superiority. So will this work? I do not know, but we shall see. They are sending troops down to the south. 
Okay, please. I, I understand. Like, a million things are happening right now, but thank you. Everybody's involved in a war. Cool, cool, cool. And apparently we're already having a naval invasion somewhere in the north. Of course, that's less than ideal. Uh, did you uh, intercept all of my transports? That's also less than ideal. Do I have any planes? I don't think I have an air force, do I? The answer is no. Now the question is, why would I send the troops out from Dublin instead of Belfast? Great question. Am I actually sinking the British fleet? I am. A lot of German, or a lot of British submarines here. Two sisters join the Reich's Pact. I mean, I'm not liking these numbers right now. I don't want to lose all my troops. Where is my autosave? Just in case I accidentally lose everybody, because that the tenth. Okay. Uh, well, do I do the, okay, never mind. I've lost the auto save. So never mind. We are stuck with this decision, which I'm pretty sure means all my troops are just dead, which is a pretty bad way to start the war. I will admit. I don't think there's any way I can get out of this, is there? Did I lose my entire fleet? I did not. Please go back out there. Yes, do not repair. I've lost 25 convoys. Well. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do about this anymore. Not a. Yeah, because now you're going to attack, but you're going to have like no strength anymore. So if you can just land. Over here. Yeah, okay. The, the plan did not work. And they've intercepted my fleet again. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. I've made some errors. How many men did I just lose right there? Uh, 110,000 uh, men. God damn it. Well, let's go to war economy. I take full responsibility for being dumb. Go immediately to service by requirements. So in hindsight, we shouldn't have done that. Like, not even a little bit. Like, I've lost, like, I think, like, two divisions. Like, two full divisions are just dead. God. Why would I do this to myself? That was, yeah, no, it was very stupid. I thought there's a chance that we might have been able to, to do that, but... Italy's now just finally gone to the war. How much does it cost to reinforce all these? Probably a lot. If I had to take a guess. Who's still just fighting a war? Russia is just fighting against the Donald Cuban Union. Well. I mean, will they actually even push that claim? Where are my, my boats? You need to land. You cannot be outside right now. Uh, we did sink a, somehow my convoys did sink a single, uh, British submarine. Not too bad. I have 165 convoys. I have no trade anymore. That seems like a bad thing.
Yeah, no. Don't trade with Germany anymore, I guess. Let's trade. Let's trade with the CSA. Because why not? Deliver to one out of thirty-two. Thirty-three percent superiority in the region. Wait, I mean, how many boats do they have? Stop all exports. Well, I'm only exporting 11. I guess we won't trade with anybody at the moment. We'll at least wait until we have um, some naval superiority. We might as well save the civilian factories for now. We've rescued our operative. Lovely. Uh, you're also British. So you can probably build a network in the north. And the other... The two Irish guys. We can send them to do some other stuff. Capture Cypher. You know what? Let's capture a Cypher. Why not? It is risky. Operation bonus out. Operation 25%. False intelligence I don't think matters too much. Because you let us steal blueprints. But I think if we infiltrate the civilian economy, we can actually do a little bit more. So operate when ready. It's going to take 172 days. Why you joined the build Creek earlier? Because I thought maybe I'd be able to sneak the AI in my favor. It didn't really work out that way. Apparently there's like no enemy ships in the region. Convoy escort in this region. Only engage at low risk. Fifty-three percent. So maybe we can get something here done. We we'll get war propaganda against the French. And we capture operative. Lovely. And we could start recruiting some more people. But I don't think we want to really do that right now. Two Sicilies, you guys are doing some good work. If the Austrians would join in the war, like, that would be nice. And, of course, we gotta worry about the Russians. Okay, we do actually have an extra agent slot. Do we want to... Let's hire another Irish person. He can do some counterintelligence in, uh... In our territory here. Yeah, the British are trying to land, so at least now we can kill some British troops. Through the French agent. I just don't know how much spying we're really going to be doing in France. Recruit more agents by giving them whiskey. I don't think that's true. So the CSA has ended the war against the Canadians. Russia's at war with the Reichspack now. Not fantastic. But if one of you guys could just join the war against the International, I don't know how much it actually is going to help us. But it's got to help out at least a little bit. Yeah, but these two British troops should just be killed soon. It's an Irish joke? God damn it. I should have realized it. It just flew right over my head. Can't believe I lost 100,000 men attacking Britain because I thought I might have had a chance to get something like good done. 
But if we can... Just have the British do the same thing against us over and over again. Maybe we can get this to work. Like, I would like to try another naval invasion of England. Not, not now, obviously. That would be a suicide. But at some point... What is it? Like, what are you guys doing? I don't, I don't understand this. Like, this isn't going to work out for you. I can, I can guarantee you that. Whiskey's and I just we girls could have said beer. Whiskey makes more sense. Yes. One of you guys, please go here and attack. I mean, at least, say what you will, at least the British actually landed in Ireland. That's more than what we could say that we've done. And unsurprisingly, Norway is just very much dead. But how many troops does Russia have? Because that, that's a massive front line we're now fighting against the Russians. Like, if we can defeat Russia... Lovely. Fortress Ireland. The, the, I don't know if you need a time out. Nightbot might be a little bit uh, aggressive. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, Fortress Ireland, though, isn't the worst thing. Land forts, coastal forts. I mean, the coastal forts is more than the land forts. Anti-air batteries. Did they give anything else? You can, like, really just... Like, all of the focuses, though, I think is too much. I don't think you need that much. We're also out of manpower already. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Our naval designer. Let's turn these off for now. Like, war support's at 88%, which is pretty solid. I guess we are... Yeah, we're technically in a defensive war, so that does help us. Can I begin trading again? Germany, can we get some trade going? A little bit. Not a ton, but some. I'm guessing we kind of... Have we defeated the British Navy? Probably not defeated. Like, they still are looking... Pretty solid. And hopefully the Canadians... End up joining soon. Just anybody. Please. Entente. It'd be really nice of you. Man, because now I gotta deal... Then a British agent... Need propaganda in Britain. He will reduce both stability and war support. We can send the one in Scotland to do that, because I guess you're not really doing much. The propaganda? Yeah, propaganda in Scotland. Come on, Scotland. Do you really want to do what the, what the people in London are saying? I don't think so. We can actually we can get our way up to 70%. That gives us a little bit more options, so we can just kind of hold the network still. So on the 3rd of February, we'll have infiltrated their network, or their administration, which is not too bad. Like, what's their war support at now? 64.49. But does it, anything actually happen when it hits zero? I know they get, like, the penalties... Um, you know, like, they'll have penalties of factory output and docker output. But does anything else really happen there? I don't, I don't remember exactly what the negative modifiers are. Oh, well, you're at 0%. Scale to 5%. Target's counterintelligence is 99%. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. A lot of counterintelligence you guys got going on uh, there, unfortunately. We can boost ideology, but I don't think that does anything in Kaiserreich. Control trade. Diplomatic pressure. I also don't think it does anything in, in Kaiserreich. I guess you just you just keep trying. Let's do some propaganda. Maybe at some point you'll be able to break your uh, way through that. We shall see. Like, what would be nice is... Vran Ludendorff, does it even, like, you can't do this because you're already at war with 
the Dutch. So I'm not too sure why... You... That should just automatically bypass, I think. Because the AI is kind of just wasting some stuff there. Did you really become Spy Master for the Reich's Pact? Is there a reason not to? Like, the thing is, like, is the AI better at being the Spy Master? King Edward's abdicated the throne. Does that mean that, uh, yeah, Albert I is now in charge? So our, our cap is 13.5%. So we're, we're back to, like, only halfway. And yeah, the Brits have once again landed. Please do not be here. And yeah, now the Brits are also trying to land behind us as well. What if we just, like, have half of the orange army over here for now? So you can at least defeat this guy. Okay, once again we have Nail Supremacy. 